Hey, I'm Dr. Hartman. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Get the fuck out of my office then. That'll be $500. But I have insurance. Shut the fuck up. Wasting my fucking time. Oh my god, my donkey just died. Wait, dead ass? That's not fucking funny. A knife! My favorite! I wish people would be nice to me. Your wish is stupid. Class, today we're gonna talk about tenses. Mary. Yeah? For example, if I say I am beautiful, what tense is it in? Well, obviously, the past tense. <gasps> okay, so I got good news and I got bad news. All right, what you got for me? Well, it looks like you're gonna die in two weeks. Okay, and uh, the bad news? Well, dude, that is the bad news. Oh, right, I have to act like a... Oh, man, I don't want to die. Hi, I'm Bill, and uh, my biggest fear is that one day somebody will... Finish a sentence? No, why would I say that? Well, somebody finishing my sentence is actually my biggest fear. Bro, my wife's so stupid, she bought a $12,000 kitchen and she can't even cook. Dude, my wife's so freaking dumb, she bought a $40,000 car and she can't even drive. Aw, oh, that's nothing, man. My wife bought 100 condoms for a business trip and she doesn't even have a penis. Yeah, that sounds good. Who are you talking to? Your mom. What? Dude, I was kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. You got me, you got me. Who's that? Your mum. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Right, I gotta take this. Hey, stop talking to my mum. <laughs> yeah, I think you bought it. Yeah, I think you bought it. Bro, I'm literally starving. <laughs> well, you're not literally starving. No, bro, like, I'm literally dying. <laughs> I get that, but you're not, like, actually dying. Oh my god! 911, what is your emergency? Oh, my friend is just on the ground. He didn't tell you he was literally starving, did he? <laughs> well, he did! I didn't know! <laughs> I didn't know! I'm so sorry! Excuse me, what's the Wi-Fi password? Four words, all uppercase. Four words, all uppercase. No, it's one word, all lowercase. One word, all lowercase. No, it's four words, all uppercase. One word, all lowercase. What the hell?! Mom, how do you know if someone is an alcoholic? Oh, honey, you see those cars over there? An alcoholic would see eight instead of four. Mom, there's just two cars. Oh, shit. Thanks for seeing me, Doc. I've, uh, I've been eating plenty of apples, don't you worry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Show me your balls. Oh. You're pathetic. Sorry, I know. <laughs> you, where do you live? With my parents. Where do your parents live? With me. Where do you all live? Together. Where is your house? Next to my neighbor's house. Where is your neighbor's house? If I tell you, you won't believe me. Tell me. Next to my house. So as of today, I'm officially two months sober. Congratulations. Awesome. We're really that's proud really of you. Well done. That's awesome. And if you ask me, that's cause for celebration. No, 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 Just no, give no, me one. No, 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 no. Dear Lord, please bless me with a big screen TV. That's not how this works. Dear Lord, please forgive me for stealing a big screen TV. Aw, uh, what's his name? His name is David. Hello, I am David. Hey, you want to play Catch the Knife? Sure! Man, I suck at this game! Hello, Angie. Hi, God! What the humans are talking about down there? Oh, that the Earth is flat. This is a joke. Some of them are serious about it. Okay, then let's make the Earth flat. How are we gonna make the Earth flat? Just call all the angels and jump on the top of it. Uh... That way it will be flat. This is a lot of jumping. No. Gabe, repeat, they're calling Nathaniel. Everybody has to jump on the earth until it gets- I feel like the more time I spend alone, the more I end up just talking to myself. <laughs> Tell me about it. Cheers. Hey, Dad. Hey, bud. How you doing? I'm doing good, but Grandma's really mad at me. Really? What happened? Well, I was at church with her yesterday, and she whispered to me, Donnie, I just let out a big silent fart. What do I do? What'd you say? I said, hey, listen. You can start by changing the battery in your hearing aid. Hey, Dad. Yeah, bud? I had an issue at school today. What do you mean? What happened? Well, the teacher told us to use the word definitely in a sentence. Sarah raises her hand, and she says, Well, I definitely had a good Christmas. John raises his hand, and he says, Well, I think my dad definitely makes the best ham. Then the teacher says, Dami, can you use the word definitely in a sentence? I said, hey, teach, do farts have lumps in them? Teacher says, oh, they most definitely do not. I said, oh, then I definitely just crap my pants. Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> I think you'll like it, you know. The teachers are nice, but the principal, complete idiot. Do you know who I am? Huh? No. The principal's son.
Oh, well, do you know who I am? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> now write this on the Bible. Say it, God. And God promised men that good and obedient wives would be found in all corners of the world. But this isn't a little bit... Um... Yeah, but now we make the earth round. God! A, B, C, D, E, F, gun! Did somebody say waffles? No. I have brain damage. Dad, I'm gay. I have no son. <gasps> this isn't my house. Watch out for that kitten! Ah, oh, that doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> Excuse me, are you gonna eat that? No. You can have it. Thank you. Guess whose arms I stole? Ooh, baby, I love you, baby. Stay away from my baby! But mother, I love him. It's Taco Tuesday! Not again! Where's my money? Hi, Angie. Hi, God. Tell me, everything is ready for our movie night? Sure. It's the movie on? What movie? I asked you to put in Star Wars. Put in Start a War. Put in Star Wars. Put in Start a War. Put in... Star Wars. <laughs> You're adopted! You done kids get off my property! Hey! Where? Would you like to see a magic trick? No! Oh no! Giant flying sheep! Those are clouds. No! Yo, um, Jessica just broke up with me. Do you want to go to Italy with me right now? Bro, I'm so sorry, but I, I have work at five. And that's like a for sure thing. I mean, it's my job, it's, it's how I pay rent. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you make a year? Maybe 30K? If I give you $50,000 right now, will you go to Italy with me for a month? Yeah. You're a great friend, bro. Thank you. What a meal? Hey, I'm sorry for being emotionally unavailable. <laughs> it's probably because of my baggage. I've heard a lot in the past. Baggage. I messed up inside. Baggage. I'll never know real love. Yeah, well, that sounds like a lot to do it. <laughs> it is. So, Nancy, how are we doing in the polls? Sir, I'm sorry, there's been a data leak. A leak? All your socials. Well, I'm confident in my years as a civilian, I've maintained a proper and respectful online footprint. Okay, if you say so. But just curious, what leaked? Deleted tweets. That's fine. Snaps. They can have those. DMs. Nothing there. Xbox live chats and voice memos. I don't want to be a mother. Oh no. <gasps> oh no, I'm late! Hey, Jake. Congrats on your sister being pregnant. Where, where is she? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, she's just in the toilet. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, any idea what she's having? I mean, not really. She's been in there for a while, so she's probably taking a shit. Sir, are you high right now? Am I what? Hi. Hello. Sir, we found drugs in your bag. How much? An ounce. How much? Jesus Christ. Stop lying to me, John. I knew you was at that girl house. Girl, no, it wasn't Terry. Yo. Wasn't at your crib last night. <laughs> How can I forget? Stop. Wait, wait a minute. How okay, I have some good news and some bad news. Okay, give me the good news first. The good news is you have 24 hours to live. What? If this is the good news, then what is the bad news? Well, the bad news is that I forgot to call you yesterday. If you go to an all-you-can-eat restaurant, can you eat your server? If someone says you're full of shit, does that mean you're just constipated? Mr. Philip, did I get an A on a test? Do you have a f***ing dad? There's your answer, little shit. Don't worry, I'm a doctor of psychology. So how does that make you feel? Hey, what time is it? It's muffin time! <laughs> time of death, muffin time. Sir, is this your car? Nope, it's yours. God bless you. Angie, we've talked about this. I'm sorry. I'll let it pass, but only this time. Thank God. Are you kidding?
kidding me? <gasps> There's something on your face. <laughs> it was pain. Oh, what is happening? Why would you do this? I can't even. I am punching your son. Oh! Huh? oh, okay. I can't wait to eat this bagel. Yes, you can. Yeah, I guess you're right. Here, hold this. Thanks. Uh, what is wrong with you? Stop it! Cut it out, man! I don't want this! Pfft, screw gravity! Hi, doctor. Hi, how can I help you? Well, I really need to lose some weight. Oh, that's easy. You just have to move your head left to the right. Left to the right. Okay. Um, how many times? Every time someone offers you sweets. I'm not straight. I'm not gay. I'm bi. I'm by myself. Hi. Sorry, teacher. Why are you late, Angie? Because of a sign down the road. What does a sign have to do with you being late? Well, the sign said, school ahead, go slow. Can someone please get me to the hospital? If you need to know, my blood type is red. Oh, oh goodness, I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm allergic to bullshit. Now, what do you tell yourself when you're having impulses to throw yourself off a bridge? Yeet. No. If I drop soap in the trash, does the trash get clean or does the soap get dirty? If I am nothing and nothing is perfect, am I perfect? An atheist is taking a walk in the woods when he sees a bear run at him. He screams, God help me! Then the world freezes and he hears a voice. You deny my existence for years, but only now you wish for my help. The man says, I believe in you. It's too late to make me Christian, I know, but could you make that bear Christian? God says, very well. Time resumes and the bear stops next to him. Then the bear says, Lord, bless this food which I am about to eat. Triloquist was performing with his dummy, and he just got done telling a blonde joke. Yeah, and that's why blondes are so stupid. <laughs> a blonde girl angrily jumps to her feet and says, Um, what gives you the right to stereotype blondes that way? What does hair color have to do with my worth as a human being? The ventriloquist gets flustered and tries to apologize. Ma'am, 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 I'm, I'm so sorry. You keep out of this, jackass. I'm talking to the dummy on your knee. There is no reason for a spider to be that big. Nope. I invited you both into my house because I felt sorry that you had nowhere to go for dinner. And then you decide to stab my daughter in the back with a spoon. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Is it that obvious? It's always Candace this and Candace that. Man, when can this... When can this pain go away? Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Eating sugar. No, Papa. I saw your hand no, in that sugar jar. Please, oh, no, I swear no. to God. My pronouns are he, not him. Because I'll never be him. A man is watching TV when he hears a knock on his door. He opens it, and it's a salesman. The salesman says, uh, Can I interest you in a toothbrush? Only $10. The man says, $10 for a toothbrush? That's insane. Absolutely not. The salesman then says, Well then. Uh, could I interest you in a brownie? Only one dollar. The man says, all right, why not? So he takes a bite from the brownie and immediately spits it out. He says, this tastes like crap. The salesman replies, it is. So, can I interest you in a toothbrush? Guys, what's the name of that chemical that explodes when it mixes with saliva? It, it's literally on the tip of my tongue. Oh, f It's my exotic neighbor, cock. Okay, so what do I say to this guy? Nice weather or hi there, cock? Nice cock. Fuck! Nobody was hurt in the recent bank robbery. The bank robber said, stay still and nobody gets hurt. Nobody ran. And nobody got shot in the head. Nobody survived, but he suffered brain damage. Now nobody only speaks in third person. 
Nobody wishes he had a normal name. I'm gonna kill the dog and blame you. <gasps> You'll never do that! I'm the oldest! Mom and Dad will believe me and you know it! I'm going to Target, come with me. Okay. A man is praying to God. He says, God, I have one question for you. How do you perceive time? God replies, a million years to me is just a minute. Then the man says, and what about money? God says, a million dollars to me is just a penny. So the man thinks and says, God, can I have a penny? God says, sure, just a minute. Three dinosaurs are searching for food when they find a magic lamp. They rub it and a genie appears. The genie says, since there are three of you, you each get one wish. The first dinosaur says, I want meat. So he gets a piece of meat. The second dinosaur wants to one-up him. So he says, I want uh, a meat shower. So he gets a shower of meat. The third dinosaur wants to one-up that. So he says, I want uh, a meteor shower. And that's the dinosaurs went extinct. Bro, if snails are so slow, uh -huh. why does nobody ever see them coming? It's always like, bam, snail. <laughs> it's, it's never like, hey, you see that snail over there? <laughs> I think we should just be friends. Mother. Ooh, I wonder what this does. Oh, I'm gay now. Huh. Okay, fun fact of the day. Apparently when you smile, the nerves in your tongue essentially paralyze, so you can't actually feel your tongue when you smile. Fucking idiot. You look cute though. You look cute. Olive oil is made from olives. And vegetable oil is made from vegetables. What is baby oil made of? Alright, I'm not gonna assign any new work today since some of you guys are ahead. We're all ahead. Hey, don't interrupt. Raise your never mind. Sir sir, can you please call a doctor? Why? I, I swallowed some glue. It's non-toxic. You should be fine. But now my neck hole is stuck to the desk. That, that's it. We're going bowling. Yeah. Awesome. Whoa. Yes. Now don't celebrate. You guys are the ball. Want to know who is to blame for your low self-esteem? Yes. Close your eyes and I'll show you. Okay. Open. <gasps> that's right. Mirrors. No. Whoa, an oil lamp. Well, hello, that cutie. I'm your genie and I'll grant you three wishes. Whoa. Now remember, there are rules to wishes, so you can't go. I wish I could stick my fingers in people's ears whenever I wanted to and they wouldn't scream. Fuck no, absolutely not. Where are your parents? I love a man who works with animals. I work with animals. Are you a vet? No, I'm a butcher. Ah, uh, I think we went the wrong direction. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming round. Turn around! Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound <laughs> of my dream. Guys, I think a Nazi has infiltrated our friendship group. Oh my god. What? Uh, why don't we all count down from 10 and vote on who we think it is? Yes, yes. That's a good idea. Uh, 10. 9. <gasps> Tell me, who is your hero? My father. Oh, and what is the best quality of your hero? Oh, he's very brave. Is there anything that your hero is afraid of? My mother. Hey, God. Yes? Can I ask you something? Sure. Can you give me a new pair of shoes? You can't ask me for material stuff. So what can I ask for? You can ask me for guidance. You can ask me for forgiveness. Got it. A few moments later. Hey God, check out my new shoes. How did you get them? Well, I stole them. What? Yeah, so can I ask for forgiveness? This is really good. Did your mother help you with your homework? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Great. She did it all by herself. A teacher asks the class, what does a chicken give you? A student yells out, wings. The teacher says, very good. What does a pig give you? The student yells out, bacon. And the teacher says, great job. What does a fat cow give you? And the student yells out, homework. Give me one good reason I shouldn't beat your ass. Cause I'ma tell mama you was fucking that woman down the street. Damn! That's a good ass reason. Let's go get some ice cream. We all have that one friend that we send tons of videos to. This is your chance to see if they actually watch them. Send this to them if they don't respond with the word frog. They are fake. I saw this article that said people who are adopted have a better sense of humor, and I found that really funny. But... Hold on, guys. I gotta call my mom. Okay, class. Oral exam now. You go first. In which war did Napoleon die? The last one he fought. What is the main reason for mistakes? Exams. What is the main reason for divorce? Marriage. 
Uh, next question. Um, if you throw a red rock in a blue lake, how does it look? What? You got an A. Okay, class, history question. What ended in 1945? Oh! Yes, 1944. Good God, I was just walking down at the park and a snake almost bit me. That's terrifying! Imagine if that was a child! Dad, can I go play outside? No. Why? Last time you got in a stranger's van. He had a Reese's cup. So what? So what? You know I love peanut butter. You can play in your room. But I want to play outside. If I let you go outside and a stranger pulls up, will you promise me you won't get in his van? In this scenario, does the stranger have a Reese's cup? Yes. Then I'm getting in the van. You're staying inside. Please, I want to roller skate. No, I can't trust you. Fine, I won't get in the van. Even if he has a Reese's cup? Shit, he still has the Reese's cup. And that's why you'll stay inside. Okay, okay, I can do it. I promise I won't get in the van. Even if he has a Reese's cup? Even if he has a Reese's cup. The king size. Can I peek my head in? Just go upstairs. What did I say? You're not allowed to talk to strangers. Can I just get in and then not talk to him? You're staying inside. I promise I won't get in the van. Okay, let's role play. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, stranger. Hey, you want to get in my van? I'm not supposed to get in your van. I have a Reese's cup. I don't care. I don't want the Reese's cup. I have two Reese's. Two? Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't... I, I still don't want to get... Hi. Sorry, teacher. Why are you late, Angie? Because of a sign down the road. What does a sign have to do with you being late? Well, the sign said, school ahead, go slow. Hey, teacher. Yes, Angie? Can someone be punished for something that he didn't do? Of course not. Oh, that's great. Yes, because I didn't do my homework. Angie, tell me a sentence that starts with I. I is the... No, 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 stop. Never put is after an I. Always put M after an I. Okay, so I am the ninth letter of the alphabet. Everybody freeze, armed police. And also unarmed police. I would have come in sooner, but um, uh, door handles. What can I help you with today? I'm having suicidal thoughts. Okay, so kill yourself. What? You said that your wife left you? Why? That's for psychological reasons. Okay, so you're psycho and she's logical. Excuse me? You suck, you don't deserve happiness, and you should be lonely forever. What? Why would you- And that's $200 for this session? I'm not paying that. You gonna kiss. Yes, sir, 100%. Wait, how did you do that? I just reversed psychology. Hi, God. Hi, Angie. You have a mission for school this year. I'll put on my glasses. Okay! Angie, what did you do? I put online classes. I said put on my glasses. Classes? Glasses? What? The whole year with online classes? Okay, why did the chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the idiot's house. Okay. I don't get it. One sec. Hey! Mother f- Hi God, what's up? Hi Angie, did you woke up the humans? What? I asked you to bring the sun up. To bring your sun up. The sun. Your sun. My sun. Your sun. No. I'm so sorry. Hey, good to see you. Holy shit! You got three wishes. Who the f are you? Uh, I'm a, I'm a genius. Get the f away from me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out! Is that, is that a wish? F or? off, mate! All right, okay. Jean. What a dumb name. <laughs> Wish I had a friend though. Hey man, how you doing? F off, I'm busy! Do you have eyes on the target? Yes, sir. The person on the right. He is my son. You are to protect him at all cost. Would you rather marry someone right now that your parents picked out or be single for the rest of your life? I'm an orphan. Alright. Did you guys know clowns can make up to $83,000 a year? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. But the person that's saying this video is very mad at you because you're doing it for free. So like, does the radio stop when you get into a car accident? Or are you just sitting there like... I'm a savage, yeah. Classy, bougie, yeah. Rich, yeah. What's wrong? Are you okay? To my grandmother. Your grandma. Holy shit! That's my grandmother. She passed away last night. Thank God! You trying to sleep? Yes, now shut up. 
Have you ever wondered how many chickens it would take to kill an elephant? <laughs> Why can't you just let me sleep? And boom! Now you have 10 extra gigabytes of storage. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, let me just get you out of the sap real quick. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? Okay, you can stop now. This is why your father left. I have a fear of the word which is spelt A A G H exclamation mark. That word. <laughs> um, why don't you tell me a bit about yourselves? Starting with you. Uh, hi everyone, my name's Jim, and I have a fear of apologies. Sorry? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh. Who died? One of my employees. While he was working the other night, a vampire came in and killed him. That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't seem like the type to get drunk on the job. <laughs> what you're going to do now is subtract two, just like how my ex-wife divorced me and took custody of our two kids. I hate this class so much. Seriously, dude, I wish something interesting would happen. Same. You want a piece of me? Yeah? Well, here you go then. Thanks. What's for dinner? My favorite. Ready to die? No. Then I'll come back later. Got you on camera. Well, I got you flowers. Uh. Hey, me and you, we gotta talk. Uh, sure, um, wh wh what's up? Did you kill my father? <sighs> I'm sorry, look, I promise it will never happen again. Well, of course it won't happen again, that's the point. Ma'am, I'm afraid I caught your son doing homework. Where did I go wrong? It worked! My time machine worked! I am a Stegosaurus! Buddy, you wanna take this outside? Sure! Wow, what a lovely evening! This was a really good idea! What? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is the last straw! Anything to say for yourself? <laughs> Hi, Angie. I have a question for you. Oh, what is it, Lucy? What's it called when an orphan takes a selfie? Um, I don't know. A family photo. <laughs> Hello? No way. You got me a VR headset? Well, don't just sit there. Put it on. Okay, okay. What are you doing, sweetie? I'm about to fly a helicopter. Oh, that's nice. A couple is driving down the road when she says, Walter, I'm getting a divorce. He doesn't say anything, but he speeds up a little bit. She says, I've had a relationship with your best friend for a long time, and he's a way better lover than you. He doesn't say anything again, but he speeds up a little bit more. She says, I want the house, the bank account, the car, and the dog. Walter doesn't say anything, but he speeds up again. She says, are you listening to me? Do you want anything? He said, no, I have everything I need. She says, oh yeah, what's that? Just before he hits the wall, he says, I got the airbag. Oh, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. You're not my dad. Hungry? Harry. Oh, wrong house. Hi. You guys sent this video, it means that you don't know what this is. See this? This is a door. Opens like this. And it closes like that. The next time that you decide to leave my room, shut the door. Hello, burger. I used to be a cow. Oh. You know what I hate? Child murderers. Oh no, here comes one now. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. Sir, you appear to have a very severe case of baby voice. <laughs> oh, you wanna fight? Oh, bring it on. All right, ground rules. No scratching, no scratching. No biting, no biting. No kicking, no kicking. No pinching, no punching, no punching. No slapping, no slapping. No contact, no contact. No insults. Supportive comments only. Love that. And lastly, uh -huh. most importantly, yep. no matter what happens, it means I am buying you dinner. Let's go. Three, two, one. I'm thinking ramen. I could go some ramen. 
Like a lot of people, I used to think that I needed to find the right person to be happy, but that was before I discovered dying alone. With dying alone, you no longer need to waste time trying to impress others because you've accepted the fact that no one is going to love you. Mm, do these jeans make me look fat? Uh, do you promise not to get mad? Yeah, I promise. I slept with your sister. Alright, so the next step is roast the potatoes. Uh, are your mum yet? Who died? My crush. Now I'll never know if she would let me take her on a date. I'm pretty sure she's down. <laughs> I hope you find someone though. Thank you. All right, all right, 10 more seconds. Come on guys, if any of you come down, I'll make a personal promise to make your life hell. 10, nine, Eight, sir, did you just come down? I'm sorry, sir, I just couldn't hold it any longer. Oh, no, that's okay, we all make mistakes. Just not in my class. Now, who else wants to come down? You, sir, what's your reason for being here? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sorry, you don't what? I, I just don't know. Well, you better know soon. No, please don't shoot me. Now answer me. Why are you doing this? Well, I really don't know, sir. Please spare me. You better come up with an answer. I really don't know. Is it your family? Maybe. I, I don't know. Is it your friends? Maybe, sir. Is it your physical well-being? It could be. Oh, what is it, son? Speak up. I want to get to 169 pounds, sir. What? 169 pounds for the memes, sir. For the what? The memes. Everyone come down. Aesthetic. <laughs> 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 Dad, something happened to Grandma. Something happened to Grandma? Yeah. What happened? She fell. She fell? Yeah, and she's hurt. She's hurt? How did she fall? I pushed her. Because I don't give a shit. How do you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning? Like this. And it's done. So, Angie, what do you think about the humans? I don't know, God. Something is missing. Like what? Mm, I don't know. <gasps> Wings! Nah. Why can't they fly? It's so cool. Okay, okay, I will give them the ability to fly. Yay! But only when they are dreaming. Oh. And during the dream, out of nowhere, they will have a weird feeling of falling. Oh, God! Why are you like this? Sorry, your stepsister's not going to make it. Oh, God, no. I meant she's not going to make it to this meeting. Oh right, of course lol, because she's dead. Did you take my eyebrow relaxing cream? No? What, well, I actually didn't. I know, I just really need that cream. Can I go to the restroom? <laughs> I don't know, can you? <laughs> Did you just shit on the floor? Yes. Excuse me sir, have you got anyone else in the car with you today? Your mom. Very funny. Hi, sweetie. What the fuck? Class, please draw a picture of a bacteria. Here's mine, teacher. Where? It's blank. Well, you told that bacteria cannot be seen with naked eye. Dad. Yeah. We had a sleepover at Chad's house yesterday. Okay. And I slept in the room with Chad. Okay. I slept with Chad. So... So what? Am I pregnant? No. I thought you said when you slept with mom she got pregnant. That's different. Oh my gosh. Hello? Hey, you can cancel the baby shower. I'm not pregnant. No, I didn't lose the baby. I never had one. You've recently lost someone close to you. Perhaps a family member. Name beginning with F? Father. Father, yes. He's here with us now. What's he saying? He wants to tell you that... He's disappointed. Oh. And also, you left the stove on. Right. Hmm. How did he die? Gas explosion. Ah. I've had a really slow and boring day, so I'm gonna switch it up and take my girlfriend out. Hello, Angie. Hi, God. What's up with the sky? What are all these drawings? Ah, me and the angels were playing connect the dots. Oh. And then, we decided to give strange names to each figure. Cool. Do you want me to erase them? Do you think that these will confuse the humans? I don't think so. That they will think that it's some sign or whatever? No. Will they think that these drawings have any influence in their lives? Nah. In their personality? No way, they are too smart for that. 
Okay, then leave it. It's cute. Yay! <laughs> Sentence you to jazz! No! Hey, can you hold my baby? No, oh, apparently not. Oh, okay. Hey, you four-eyed freak! Ah, <sighs> don't listen to him. Mom, is this the last one? This is the last one. So, what starts with F and ends in Uck? Fire truck! <laughs> Fire truck, well done! Oh my god, you're awake! What happened? You had a panic attack whilst playing peekaboo. Where am I? I see you. <gasps> Alright, just relax. When she answers your FaceTime call, just tell her how you feel. I don't know, man. She's like super hot and I'm nervous. Bro, stop acting weird and just be confident. Okay. Just be yourself. You got this. Hey, Kevin. What's up, bitch? Bro, what the fuck was that? I don't know, man. I fucking panicked. Hi, I'm Jake. And if this has popped up on your For You page, it's probably because you have a very annoying sibling. Today, I've got one step to deal with your annoying sibling. Excuse me. Hey, what can I do for you today? Hey, um, yesterday I purchased a boomerang from here and it turned out to be faulty. Faulty? Yeah. Um, okay. Where is it? I have no idea. Right. Because, you know, when you throw a boomerang, it's always meant to come... Dad, can you tell me another riddle? Oh, um, what has four legs and isn't moving? Oh, four legs and doesn't move. Oh, it's a, it's a chair! The dog's dead, Jimmy. Oh, he ran in front of the car. Hey, God! Hi, Angie. So, how are things in paradise? Oh, did you give Eve what I asked you to? Yes, I did, and she just started. Oh, that's great. So, she's building a chapel? Huh. Angie? She's eating an apple. Chapel. Apple. I need a break. Eve! Eve! Spit it out! Spit it out! Fuck! Hi, God! Hi, Angie. How are the priests doing? Are they having a great time on Earth? Mmm, I guess. Remember I told you that they should celebrate during their lifetime? That they should be celibate during their lifetime? Celebrate! Celibate! Celebrate! Celebate! Poor guys. Hi, God! Hi, Angie. So, how is the vaccination going? Are the elderly and people with serious illnesses fully vaccinated? Um, I told you that risk groups should be vaccinated first. That rich groups should be vaccinated first. Risk. Rich. Risk. Rich. Jimmy? Matthew? I haven't seen you in so long, I didn't know you came to the gym. Oh yeah, no, I've been coming for like nine months now. Bro, for nine months? You look great! Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, man, what are you hitting today? Women. What? Are you winning, son? I am always winning, Dad. Nani? Hello, winning, I'm Dad. Hi, Angie. Hi, God. Tell me, are the humans finally saving money so everyone can be rich one day? What? I told you that everyone should have a money box. That everyone should have monkey box? Money box. Monkey box. Money box. Monkey box. How does a non-binary samurai kill people? They slash them. <laughs> okay, now let's create the Wi-Fi. Okay, just put internet access everywhere. Everywhere? All over the place. Streets, stores, everywhere. It's amazing. Then if the humans are on the streets, they can connect. Now make it have passwords. Like one, two, three, four. Big giant passwords. Zero, zero, zero. More like numbers, letters, symbols, all together. But do it. Okay. They will never memorize this shit. Hey God, what's up? Hi Angie, tell me, is the earth beautiful and full of flowers? What? I asked you to give the world more flowers. You told me to give this girl more followers. Flowers? Followers? 
Ah, that's it. You should spend some time in hell with Lucy. Go. No, God, please, no. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Jake, relax. It's not gonna kill you. You're more likely to be struck by light. Truth or dare? Truth. Explain to me why you picked truth. Because I'm afraid if I pick dare, you're gonna ask me to do something crazy, like shit off the balcony. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna have a few laughs and have some fun. Now your turn, truth or dare? Truth. Explain why you picked truth. Because I want to have a chance to explain to you that the fun of truth or dare comes with the risk. And if you only pick truth, you get rid of that and the game is no fun anymore. So, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to shit off the balcony. Doctor, I just don't know what to do. He literally never cleans up around the house. He, he bullies me all the time. Yesterday he called me an Oompa Loompa. And he's always writing that stupid diary. Day 58. Sharon is still being a cunt. Mum, why did Dad have to die? Well, sweetie, it must have just been part of God's plan. Oh. Done. So your boyfriend is obsessed with his PlayStation. Well, here's how you're gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna tell your boyfriend you think you need some space. Cleared out in the living room, cause tonight you wanna join him as he fires round after round of heavy ammunition into enemy soldiers. Time to party. Step two, your boyfriend clears out the living room and grabs a two litre bottle of Dr. P. You then simply load up Call of Duty, put on your headset and wait for the magic words. Alright, that's enough mucking about. Now we do this for real. Step three, you immediately turn to your boyfriend. Who was that? The man, the man with the voice. Help me boyfriend, I think I might be falling in love. I am falling in love with the man from the game. A new man, a new powerful man. A man who can protect me, who can love me, who can treat me with the love and respect I deserve. I'm in love with my new man boyfriend, boom. And then your boyfriend simply smashes his PlayStation, vows to never play Call of Duty again, and you guys get to watch Netflix all night instead, just the way you wanted. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Oh, your crush is coming. Oh, crap. What do I do? What do I do? Um, just act like you don't care. Okay. Hey, I just wanted to come and ask you if you wanted to come to my mum's funeral tomorrow. I honestly couldn't give a fuck. This is a spelling bee that was produced by a caveman. Your word is... Rock. Are you okay? That is correct. Congratulations, you win. What is happening? Hello, Angie. Hi, God. What the humans are talking about down there? Oh, that the earth is flat. This is a joke. Some of them are serious about it. Okay, then let's make the earth flat. How are we gonna make the earth flat? Just call all the angels and jump on the top of it. Uh, that way it will be flat. This is a lot of jumping. No. Gabe, Peter, call Nathaniel. Everybody has to jump on the earth until it gets flat. Hey, Dad. If I told you that I was gay, would you still love me? Ah, uh, don't be silly, son. You were an accident. I never loved you in the first place. <laughs> Hello, you finally woke up after three months. Did I give birth? Don't worry, your babies are fine. You had twins, a boy and a girl. <gasps> and your brother named them. No, he's an idiot. What did he name the girl? Denise. That's actually nice. What about the boy? The nephew. Uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, if you look out to your right, you'll see something that's just plain wrong. <laughs> uh, we're going down. How'd you like Disney? It was crazy. I saw Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I was. He was fucking huge. Well, because he was like six foot five. Well, because solid 250, 260. You realize it's a. Person. I said, does this mouse lift? What? The it's a costume. He was so damn tall. There's a person inside. What's he play for the Knicks? It's a costume. That's an adult mouse right there. There's a person. That mouse is a fifth year senior. Listen to me. That mouse juicing up. Because it's that a... mouse goes to Lifetime Fitness. And then that big ass duck. What the fuck? Who died? My uncle. He choked to death at the hot dog eating contest. I don't even know why he thought he could win. He'd never done that before. Ooh, sounds like he bit off more than he could chew. <laughs> Sorry for your loss, though. Thank you. Okay, fun fact of the day. Apparently when you smile, the nerves in your tongue essentially paralyze, so you can't actually feel your tongue when you smile. Fucking idiot. You look cute, though. You look cute. Okay, fun fact of the day. Apparently when you smile, the nerves in your tongue essentially paralyze, so you can't actually feel your tongue when you smile.
fucking idiot. You look cute, though. You look cute. I'm afraid your mother has died. God, no. Let me finish. I'm afraid your mother has dyed her hair. Oh. Yeah, it looked like shit. So I killed her. If you had four apples and I took away three, how many apples would you have left? Uh, four? <laughs> if you had four apples! A father was listening to his daughter pray. God bless mommy. God bless daddy. God bless grandma. Goodbye, grandpa. Honey, why did you say goodbye, grandpa? I don't know, daddy. It just felt right. The next day, her grandpa dies, and the father just thought it was a strange coincidence. A week later, the dad was listening to his daughter pray again. God bless mommy. God bless daddy. Goodbye, grandma. The next day, the grandma died. The father started thinking, wow, my daughter must be very special. A week later, he was listening to his daughter pray again. God bless mommy. Goodbye, daddy. He started freaking out and couldn't sleep all night. He left early and went to his office. He was nervous all day and kept watching the clock. He felt safe in his office and figured if he could make it to midnight, he would be okay. Once it hit midnight, he went home. When he went home, his wife said, I've never seen you work so late. What's the matter? I had the worst day of my life. Yeah, well, my day was worse. The mailman dropped dead on our porch. Damn, bro. But nah, if my girl got a gay best friend, like, he gonna have to prove it to me, you feel me? Bro, what? I think my grandma died. And that's how you respond. Mom, it's grandma. Are you gonna knock the next time you just come in my room? What? That was rude. I'm sorry. Um, let's try again. Now you can come in. Okay. Grandma's having a heart attack. Oh. What's wrong? It's gone. What is? My tarantula. Okay, was it in the jar when we left the house? Well, yeah, I was just feeding it. Doris? Find the spider. Paul, I'm trying. Doris? Don't stress me, sweetie. Uh, where were you feeding it? On the sea. I have a phobia for spiders, you know this. Paul, just calm down. Oh, God. Oh, man. Look under your seat. Oh, Look under God. daddy's seat. Oh, man. It did. It's not there. Oh, Sweet, does it have God. a name? What can oh, we call it? Man. Oh, God. Fred. Oh, okay, man. Fred. Fred. Oh, Fred. Give me a Fred. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, Fred. man. Oh, God. We finally found Fred, and we managed to put him back in the jar with chopsticks, which is how I was able to bring him here to show everyone today. Oh. There's a spider. So what you want me to do? Kill it! You saw it first! You killed it! You're the man! Since when? I can't believe Tommy's gone. Um, before he died, he told me to give you this. He knew he didn't have much time left, so he left you these encouraging notes. Tommy, what the fuck does this mean? My girlfriend hasn't talked to me in three fucking days because she's mad that I hooked up with her identical twin. They're identical twins. And I told her that, I'm like, babe, how am I supposed to tell the difference? And then she brings up the argument saying, oh, well, uh, he has a penis. I was like, shut the f Are you okay? Yeah. I just got accepted to my dream university. That's great news, no? Yeah. You don't seem to be in the mood to celebrate, though. Well, I usually go to my mom with great news, but she passed away last week. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. So, tell him about the uni you just got in. Maybe I could pretend to be your mom for a minute. You'd do that? Of course. Well, I got a letter from... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, wake up! <gasps> I just murdered your entire family! <gasps> But I live alone. Huh? Then who are these people in your house? There's people in my house? Well, not anymore! Dumb bitch! You could have died! You're welcome. Hey, dude. What are you doing? Oh, hey. Nothing. Uh, I'm doing nothing. That's the most suspicious nothing I've ever heard. But it's true. What's behind that door? What? What? This one? Yeah, that one. Air? Uh-huh. What else? More air. All right, I'm checking. Whoa! Oh, no, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Why? Uh, because it's, uh, it's really embarrassing. All right, cool. I'm your best friend, so I'm sure you'll be fine to show me, right? Okay, good. Ah, no! If you check behind this door, our friendship is at risk. Whoa. Okay, now you're freaking me out. What the hell is behind this door, dude? It doesn't matter, okay? Just please leave. Yeah, you don't have a choice now. I'm checking. the anime always be like you don't have enough power to stop me <laughs> for all of my life wait how are you standing up i've always been called weak 
First my father. You're too weak, son. Then my grandma. You're weak, grandbaby. And even my own dog. You're weak, bark bark. And I almost believe them. But thanks to all the friends I've made, I've realized that friendship is my true power. How did you get so strong? Ten minutes, swear to God. You can play with this kaleidoscope I got you at the airport. What? A kaleidoscope? I'm not five. Shapes and colors, the likes of which I've never seen. Psst. Want some drugs? Depends. You sell? Depends. You buy? Depends. You a cop? Depends. Are you a cop? No. Well, all right then. All right. You're under arrest! If your leg get cut off, would it hurt? Duh! How though? Cause your leg got cut off, fool! Where you gonna feel the pain? In your leg. Exactly, bruh. How you gonna feel the pain in your leg if your, your leg, leg is, is gone? gone? During lunch at work, a woman ate three plates of beans. When she got home, her husband seemed excited to see her and said, Darling, I have a surprise for dinner tonight. He then blindfolded her and led her to the dinner table. As he was about to remove her blindfold, the phone rang. He made her promise not to touch the blindfold until he got back. Well, the beans were starting to bother her stomach, and while he was out of the room, she decided to depressurize. It was not only loud, but it smelled like a fertilizer truck had ran over a skunk. She fanned her rump vigorously. She ripped off three more. The stink was worse than death itself. He was on the phone for a few more minutes, all the while she was dropping atom bombs in the dining room. When his call ended, the husband returned and asked if she had peeked through the blindfold. She had not. Pleased, he removed the blindfold, revealing twelve disgusted dinner guests, saying... Happy birthday. What's up? What you in here for? Stealing a painting. I got two years, but I didn't do it. So you were... I was framed. <laughs> what, what are you in here for? Uh, I got caught stealing a calendar. How much you get? I got 12 months. <laughs> hey, yo. You good? Guard! So you know how women get pregnant? Yes, dude. I, I know how babies are made. What? No, no, not that. Oh. So you know how in the late stages of development of a child, they usually kick around and stuff like that, right? Go on. So, the baby is kicking a pregnant woman. I mean, yeah, if you put it like that. But when I do it, everybody just gets mad at me and now the police are after me. What did you do? Exactly what the baby did. What? Dude, this world is full of hypocrisy. No, it's full of crazy people like you. A woman wakes up in the middle of the night to realize her husband's not in bed with her. So she puts on her slippers and goes downstairs to look for him. She finds him sitting at the kitchen table and he appears to be in deep thought staring at the wall. She watches as he wipes a tear from his eyes and she said, What's the matter, honey? Why are you down here at this time of night? The husband looks away from the wall and says, it's the 20th anniversary of when we met, honey. The wife can't believe he remembers and she starts to tear up. The husband says, do you remember 20 years ago when we started dating? I was 18 and you were only 15. With a smile on her face, the wife says, yes, I remember. The husband says, do you remember when your father caught us in the backseat of my car? With a confused look on her face, she says, yeah, I remember. Do you remember when you shoved the shotgun in my face and said, you either marry my daughter or I'll make sure you spend the next 20 years in prison? The wife is embarrassed and she softly says, yeah, I remember that. The husband wipes another tear from his cheek and he says, I would have gotten out today. Mommy, I drew a picture of our family. Oh, wow. Good job. I'll hang it on the fridge for Daddy to see when he's home from work. A boy and his date were parked in a car and he thought he was going to get lucky, but the girl said, I really should have mentioned this earlier, but I'm a hooker and I charge $100. The boy paid her, and they did their thing. After they were done, the boy just sat in the driver's seat, smoking a cigarette, and looking out the window. The girl asked, why aren't we going anywhere? The boy said, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I'm a taxi driver, and the fare back to town is $120. Listen, you lost $400 of your mother's money. She beats your ass. Then your dad beats your ass. Then you go to your room, and on top of your bed, you find a $400. Do you give it back? Please let me into heaven. And why should I do that? Because of what Candace said. C candace Who's Candace? W what do you mean, Candace? Candace, dip in your mouth! It was a pretty good totally one. Totally worth it. Gun to your head, what are your last words? Yes! 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 Oh my god, yes! Finally, bitch! Finally! We need to break up. We need to break up. We need to break up. We need, we need to break up. We should break up. I think that we should, I think that we should break up. I think that we should break up. Listen, I think that 
We need All to. All right, I get it. Four men are in the hospital waiting room because their wives are having babies. A nurse goes up to the first guy and says, Congratulations, you're a father of twins. The man says, That's a crazy coincidence. I work for the Minnesota Twins. The nurse says to the second guy, Congratulations, you're the father of triplets. The man says, That's a crazy coincidence. I work for the 3M company. The nurse tells the third guy, Congratulations, you're the father of quadruplets. The man says that's a strange coincidence, I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. The last man is freaking out and banging his head against the wall. The nurse asked him, what's wrong, are you okay? He said, no, I'm screwed, I work for 7up. This box contains your greatest fear. Do your worst, I fear nothing. And that's exactly what's inside. Nothing! Wow, our prisoners are running great this week. We should, we should give them a Christmas present. Like, I don't know, candy canes or... Candy canes? No, what? <laughs> You're gonna spike their blood sugar. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, how about sugar-free candy canes? That's a great idea. Yeah, you, you are sharp, dude. <laughs> hey God, what's up? Hey Angel, did you give the dinosaurs more muscle like I asked? What? I told you to make them meatier. Make them a meteor. 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 Johnny and Marissa sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an abrupt and tragic miscarriage, then comes blame, then comes despair. Two hearts damaged beyond repair. Johnny leaves Marissa and takes the tree. D-I-V-O-R-C-E The last person who takes the right hand off this table wins a million dollars. You guys ready? Yeah. Go. Alright, so the rules are... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's your left hand, dumbass! My dad's condom broke in 97. Now I exist so I can pay bills and have crippling depression. Hey, Vsauce. Michael here. Terraphobia is the fear of monsters in your closet. A fear most common amongst children. But of course, the only monster you need to fear is me. Known as the me monster in the urban dictionary, described as someone so self-absorbed that no one else matters. Of course, the only thing that actually matters is your safety. So whatever you do, don't fall asleep is what Nancy said to Lance in the horror classic A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, of course, the real nightmare is that I'm stalking you, Kenny. <laughs> By a boogie with that hoodie only has 74... For a second there, I really... It's, it's Wait, he said Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Michael here. Terraphobia is the fear of monsters in your... I walked up to my wife and said, I have a problem. She said, no, we have a problem. We're married and we're a couple. Your problem is my problem. Overwhelmed with relief, I said, you know what, it's hardly worth mentioning now. But she insisted on knowing what the problem is. So I had to explain to her that we got her sister pregnant. Okay guys, he's gone. What do we do? Let's break through the window. No, he'll just be waiting for us upstairs. What if we all pretend to be dead, then when he buries us, we'll just escape through the ground? No, we'll suffocate before we even escape. How about we kick the wall down? No, he'll hear us before we even break through, and plus this is a basement, so we're underground. What if I use my advanced bird mating call to summon an army of birds to break us out? Good idea, but again, this is a basement, so the birds won't hear you. Threesome! Forget about it. What if we just pretend that we lost our memory, then he comes back and thinks that we're- GUYS! It's four against one, right? So why don't we just wait for him to come back and attack him as a team? That's a... Horrible plan. Yeah, what are you thinking? Dumbest plan so I've ever heard. Exactly. Why we don't Not gonna happen. Fun fact of the day, if a toy in Toy Story died, all the toys would know, but the kid would keep playing with the corpse. So when do you think the trauma started? Back in middle school, probably, uh, the older kids used to call me giraffe neck. <laughs> Did you just laugh? No, I was clearing my throat. I think you laughed. <laughs> I, I would do no Are such thing. Are you literally still laughing? That would be inappropriate. You want a full reference, huh? Yeah,
Do they call you anything else? Okay, we're done here. Good God, I was just walking down at the park and a snake almost bit me. That's terrifying. Imagine if that was a child. Hiya!